Hey guys, if you are on lockdown without being able to see your horse and that you are slowly going insane, this video is just for you. Hi, I'm Maria. As an equestrian performance coach, I can tell you that I have been working this week like crazy. Not only with my coaching clients that are needing support and help to go through these trying times, but also with my community because I am very active on Instagram and right now I'm just reaching out to all my community, telling them even if you are not my coaching client and you're needing support, just send me a DM and we can talk this out because I know and I feel that this is a moment where the equestrian community as a whole needs to really really become as close and as united as possible. So what I'm going to do today on this video is that I'm going to share with you the four tips that I am giving to my coaching clients and the community when they reach out for support. There are many more tips, there are many, many more techniques, there are many more tools that you can use at these times, but I think that these four are the, mo the, like, the most important ones. And of course, if you like this video and that you want more information and that you would like to have more tips, tools and techniques, just put a comment down below asking me to do a second video with more information and I will be very, very happy to do it. So the four tips that I'm giving out are, first of all, acknowledge your feelings. Guys, because we are equestrians, horses are very, very important in our lives. And I know that this, like what is happening right now with the coronavirus all over the world is very, very serious. People are dying. This, this is just like the worst thing that could happen. And because of that, many of us as equestrians are feeling guilty to speak out loud how we're feeling, to say that we are feeling stressed, that we're feeling sad, that we're feeling demotivated, that we're feeling guilty because we love our horses and we're not able to see, go see them and ride them. But the thing, guys, is that it is so important to acknowledge our feelings and not only acknowledge them, but just talk about them. Because if you don't these things are going to just keep on festering inside of you and make you feel even worse and worse. So yeah, it is understandable if maybe someone in your circle just tells you like, get over it, it's just a horse. It is understandable from their point of view. That's something that you can say, okay, so that's your point of view. But it's not because they think that it is like that, that you have to feel guilty for what you're feeling. Your feelings are true. It is, they are true. They are happening. They are there. And maybe you just have to social distance yourself from the, those people at this moment. Just, it is, well, so it is important sometimes to just cut down those people that can put us in situations of guilt. So acknowledge your feelings, talk about them. And again, if you think, if you feel that you don't have anybody to talk about it in your circle because nobody's going to really understand, just reach out to me, guys. I am here for that. It's like this is something that I really, really want to give to the equestrian community right now. It's like support. So if you need to talk about it, if you're feeling like, oh my goodness, I am feeling so bad because I cannot see my horse, but I cannot talk to anybody and nobody's going to understand, I understand. So just reach out to me and I will be very, very, very happy to help you out to just talk about it. And sometimes just only talking about it can really, really help. The second advice I'm always giving to my coaching clients and right now my community is to have equestrian goals. Well, if you are one of my coaching clients, you know that this is something that we work on like immediately because that is what's going to pull you up. That's what's going to give you a reason to continue working every single day for your riding, even if you're not able to be on your horse. And having a destination where you want to get to is pretty distressing because you know where you want to go, you know where you're going, you know what you have to do to get there and you know how to work on that. So that's that's one of the things guys, like for my coaching clients, they already have their goals. So we're talking about their goals and we're just finding out how they can continue working towards them even though they are not able to ride. For those in the community who have been reaching out, most of them, they don't really have equestrian goals or they have very la large and vague goals. Like for example, yeah, I, I wanted to do some competitions this year. It's like, okay, but when we get a little bit more into the nitty gritty, it's pretty vague. So have some very specific equestrian goals. And if 
you cannot write at this moment, just to tell yourself, okay, so what can I do to continue working on that, on that? And that would be my third tip, just thinking outside of the box. Okay, so we are on horse jail. We are not able to ride our horses. And when, and when I say we, it's like I'm in this situation, guys. I'm on lockdown and I'm not allowed to go see my horse. And I haven't been able to do it for one week and it's breaking my heart. It is so difficult. But the thing, guys, is that even though I cannot go see my horse, I know that I can continue working towards becoming a better rider. I know that there are things that I can do so that when I get back on my horse, not only would I have like, lost the fitness level that I had, but I can even be better. So what are some of the things that we can do? We can work on our fitness. Right now on YouTube and all over the internet are so many home workouts that you can do. So it's not like, okay, so I don't know what to do. It's just, just search for it on the internet and you will find things that you can do. So keep up with your fitness. But also one of the techniques that I really use with my coaching clients is visualization. Guys, visualization, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's mental imagery. So visualization is in some way, imagining something in such a real way that your brain cannot make the difference between the fact that it is happening or not. It's like your brain really feels that it is happening. So because the brain feels that it is happening, it is sending the same signals to your body and your muscles are taking all this information and storing it and building the muscle memory. So this is a little bit more uh, technique. If you want more information on this, just again, put a message down below on the comments and I can talk a little bit more about visualization. But as a technique, this is so important because I, what I go through with my clients is that they can work on specific writing skills outside of the saddle, out of the saddle when they are not writing, just by using the visualization techniques. And when you know this, you know that you can continue getting better, that you can continue practicing even though you're not able to ride your horse. Another thing that you can do when thinking outside of the box is you can ask your trainer, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? How can I get better? It's like, what should I be concentrating on so that I can become a better rider? And just talk with them. And my fourth and last tip, and this is so, so important, guys, is stay positive. And I know that it is not easy. I know that if you're watching this video, it's mostly because you're not feeling positive right now. But really, guys, it's like there's so many things for which we can be positive at this moment. Just try and find the positive things in your life that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis so that every single day you have this injection of positive energy into your life. I don't know, maybe you can do some game days with your family. You can also put on music every day and dance yourself away. It's like, put, do things that are going to lift you up. So yeah, guys, so those were my four tips. Remember, acknowledge how you're feeling. Very, very important. Don't let yourself feel guilty because you love your horse and you are feeling very, very bad because you're not able to ride them or see them or both <laughs> like me use goals just set goals do something very very specific with your goal setting because that's what's going to pull you up is that's what's going to lift you up and that's what's going to keep you positive also and think outside of the third one would be think outside of the box it's like how can you continue working today even though you're not able to ride, to become a better rider. And the fourth one, and very, very important one, stay positive. Okay, guys, so I hope that you really, really like this video and that it's going to help you. And for those of you who are not, well, if you're on Instagram TV right now, normally you should be following me on Instagram, but if you are on YouTube or on Facebook right now, just go to my Instagram, Equestrian Performance Coaching, because over there I am giving tips, I am helping out, I am just putting out positive content. So yeah, I will be seeing you on next video and just stay safe. Bye!